Hello everyone and welcome back to Day 1 Aviation. So another scenario training today for you. So the scenario we're talking about today is let's say you are performing a long climb on your cross country, right? And you notice that the temperature gauge for the oil is starting to rise close to the red line. So what do you do? Do you squawk 7700, pull the mixture to cool the engine down and land immediately? So a rise in the oil temperature in this situation could likely be due to extended climb that you are in in inadequate air cooling. So the first measure you could do is to level off at an appropriate altitude, enrich in the mixture, ease back on the throttle, and you know, give it a few minutes to cool down. You know, likely you'll see the oil temperature start to return to normal levels, and then at this point you could continue the climb if necessary, maybe at a slightly lower climb angle this time, uh, that might help keep the engine oil, you know, from reaching those high levels. Now, as you level off with the oil temperature still really high, it would be wise to, you know, monitor the other engine gauges, right, as well as to get, you know, to get a complete picture of the health of the engine, right? So monitor the oil pressure as oil um, overheats, right? It gets thinner, resulting in lower pressure. So if the temperature is hot and the pressure is falling, it might be time to think about landing. However, if the temperature is hot and the pressure is good, you know, then give it a few minutes um, to cool down and then cooling the engine oil, and then having that change reflect on the gauge, you know, will take some time, but you should see some downward movement, you know, within five minutes or so. Now, as you level off, you know, and you're waiting to see the downward movement in the oil temperature, it might be a good idea to take a quick glance, you know, and be aware of what other airports are in the vicinity, you know, just in case the oil temperature never comes down and some emergency situation develops, right? And of course, you know, if you have a checklist for high oil temperature, that would be the time to reference that checklist. So now if you were, you know, monitoring the oil level in your normal scan, you know, likely you would have saw it slowly creeping up, right? You know, so had this been the case, you could have lowered off, lowered the nose beforehand, leveled off, and allowed for better cooling, climb at a slower rate to prevent it from reaching the high temperature. So there you go. You know, lower the nose in the climb if the oil temperature is getting high. Thanks everyone for watching today. Hope you join us on a future flight, and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.